sweetie. See, it's not getting married that is the problem. It's what happens after. No. For goodness sake, I am older than you are. How many times will I tell you? I will never look at another woman. Never, ever. Do you understand me? I'm trying to. It's just that, you know, with all the beautiful young girls everywhere. I'm a little scared. I know. I know. But hey, you're more beautiful than they are. More hardworking, more intelligent, more resourceful. You're every man's dream and I am not letting you go. If you can see my heart right now, if you can just look at my heart, you know how rock solid it is where you're concerned. You're my dream come true. Please, don't push me away. Please. Get rid of that small boy. Why are you still fooling yourself with it? Mama Frank is not a small boy. He loves me and I love him. He loves? The only thing he loves is the money in your pocket. Angela, can't you get men your age? What do you want with that, that small university graduate? Mama, he's going to get work soon. He has a degree. Angela. Be careful. Be very, very careful. story all the time. My mom won't let me rest because of you. It's okay. Don't worry. Everything is done. What's important is that we love each other. Huh? But she makes it look as if it's, it's wrong to be in love. There is nothing wrong to be in love. It's like the competition. But you're gonna come out top. Called me. Come. What has been happening in this house? My, don't understand what you say. That stupid young man who calls himself Frank, does he still come here? Are you deaf? I... 
Ngozi, if I get up from here, I will slap across it out of your eyes. Then you will know whom I'm talking about. Does he come here regularly? Every day? Yes. No, no, he doesn't come every day. Oh. He comes sometimes. You may go. Anything could happen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Auntie, this is for you. Ah, uh, yeah? Hmm. Some people are trying to bribe me. Oh, see. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, don't keep me waiting. You know you have to see me off. Anyway, as long as you keep bribing me, she's all yours. <laughs> I hope you like it. Come here not to talk about sitting down and taking a drink. Hmm? Actually came to drop him off because he said he wanted to see you. Yeah. You both are always together. <laughs> <laughs> so baby, um, how long will you be here? Um two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Okay, I'll pick you up in two hours. Alright, baby. Alright, baby. Yeah. Alright, baby. Yeah. All right. So see you people. Alright. And don't look at another. No, I got the best one here. Why you didn't get that idea? Frank, on a serious note, what did you see in the Angela? Don't quote me wrong, okay? She's beautiful, I agree. But don't you think she's rather too old for you? Oh, what's your business? Leave him! See, I like her like that for myself. Mm -hmm. It's nobody's business. I love her that way. Thank you, sir. If I didn't know you and your crazy taste, I would have thought she's cast a spell on you. Thank God she didn't cast no spell on me. Uh, thank God your parents are not alive. They would have objected to this relationship. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my parents. Of blessed memory. They would have objected. Yeah, but I wouldn't have given up. Never given up. Do you know what Listen, have you ever seen love exemplified, hmm. personified before? Hmm. I'm talking about Angela. Angela is is loving. Hmm. She makes me feel like a man. Hmm. Do you know what it makes me? Hmm. You know, I'm not kidding. <laughs> All through our years at the university now, I've seen girls, man, but never seen none like Angela. Franco, no kidding, bro. Ah. I'm okay. She, she. This woman make me do like say I get ten million. I can see that. No, I feel man. I can see that again. No, she's just in there. Ah, go. Thank you, Lydia. Um, what did you serve Mama for dinner? Bread fruit, but she said she's not eating. Did she say why? No, she didn't. Excuse me. Mm 
just say you didn't eat what was given to you for dinner. Do you want something else? Don't you have any shame at all? Look at you standing there asking me about food. Don't you have any, any bit of, of decency in you? Oh, please. But, but Mama, what have I done now? What wrong have I done? Angela. Please let me be. Now that you no longer have a sense of, of right or wrong, let me be. This now, eh? Even if we disagree, but at least you should leave my house in this manner now. Angela, I have nothing to say to you. Since your father died, you have been behaving like a shameless idiot. Listen. But I know what to do. Okay, uh, li listen, I accept whatever name you call me. But since you want to go, at least come back to the house. Let me get dressed up and go and drop you. Have I told you I do not know the way to the central motor park? Because please let me talk to her now. Let's go back to the house. Taxi! Whatever it is. Taxi! Mama, please now. Mama, please now. Mama, Taxi! Mama, please. Taxi, I'm to pack. Mama, please now. Give me my please. Mama, 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 Likes of no soup. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Can you cook up no soup for her? Huh? Yes, I'll do that, but there's no one in the house. Mm. But, but can you buy? Can you go and buy? How much will it cost? Um, Two thousand. It's only a one. No, I have to buy it on one. Like what now? Like what? We don't have enough meat. Yeah. Gozi. Yeah, it's it is really enough. No, it's not enough. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, two K. Please make sure you do one more. If you almost ever want to leave you there, please have a good. Please just make it quick, quick, thirty minutes. Lunch is ready. Yes, you will eat, baby. Come on, Paul. Sweet, I'm not hungry. You will eat. 
eat. Magic! I know the last time I checked there was no Obola in this house. You mm -hmm. would conspire, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was his idea, and he mm. gave me the money to prepare. Oh, really? Frank, I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I love you. Wow. I love you. Wow. I'm still serving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, Ray, I am happy for you. You are so lucky. Do you know what it means to be chosen out of 120 contestants to model for an international product? My dear, it is God's doing. Mm. And um, I'm even planning on what to do with the money as soon as the contract is signed. Okay, one. I'll come and see your people. Mm -hmm. I'll fulfill all marriage rights. And I'll wear the official in the church. Two. I'll take you on a honeymoon to any country of your choice. Maybe the Caribbean. Yeah. And I'll provide for you every good thing you need in life. I'll make investments. And I'll save some for some nest egg. Oh yeah! And you know what? <laughs> what? I will open a joint account. Wow! Yes! <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is serious. Someone is there dreaming. All this? I'm not dreaming. The money would have finished. Do, do you know how much we're talking about? Okay, tell me how much. Over 200,000 US dollars. And when converted to our own currency, yeah. it's a ton of 28 million naira. So much money for us. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Wow! We are rich. We are absolutely Without saying the money, I'm down to the ready because I know it's hard. There's no problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you. So, so happy for you. Mm. Is it part of the celebration? Yes. Yes, we are supposed to be ready. <laughs> Missy Raymond, right? Yes, Auntie. I miss him so much. I know. Auntie, you know, every moment spent without him is empty. 
I love him so much. I know. But have you called him on the phone? Yes. We talk every two hours. <laughs> well, you know what? Both of you are going to make a lovely couple. But not to worry, everything will fall in place, okay? But you know, today <clears throat> is for us to cook my special soup, my favorite obona soup. Huh? Yeah. So I'm going to watch you cook because it's not my turn today. So go there. <laughs> I'll do it. I should stay. No, I should not stay in the kitchen. Not stay. <laughs> okay, I'll leave the kitchen for you. See you later, okay? by this, this small child. You brat. You gold digger. Mama, stop it. Stop it right this minute. Angela. Mama, I, I'm not going to take it from you. Don't insult my man. Will you just shut up? Mama, just stop it. Just stop it. Your uncle Ima is here with me. He's downstairs waiting for you. Maybe he will be the one to talk some sense into your head. Who is Uncle Ima? Um, my dad's younger brother, my uncle. I think I will speak with him. No, no, you just wait, okay? Let me see him first. No. For how long will your mom continue to barge in on us like this? Every time we're together, she just comes in unannounced. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry about all that. Let me go and see. God forbid one day she catches us naked for us. Hey. I love you. so gullible to men. Chai! Akumafo will turn in his grave if he sees the type of life you're, uh, you're putting up with now. Uh, uh, uncle, you've not heard my side of the story. What side of a stupid story, you idiot? Uncle, th 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 this is unfair. This is totally unfair. Both of you have come here to constitute judges over my life when yours is not any better. What? what? 
I mean, all along I've not been married. I mean, you say get married, get married. Now I find a man who loves me. You're telling me he's younger than me. I mean, just tell me, where is it written that a woman cannot date a man who is younger than her? Eh? Just you tell me, what's wrong with me dating that guy? What's wrong with me? You just come here and tell me I'm, 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 I've become gullible to men. And so I don't even want to hear your story anymore. Just leave my life. I'm Leave me alone, I don't want to hear I'm Taylor. Did you? Did you see her? She dare insult me? Please. Please. Child! Just, just calm down. Calm down and sit down. Please. Umo, Emma. daughter. I beg you. Please. Child. Please. Please. Just sit down. Okay. Just, just sit down. Stopping Mama from patching into your room, but she insisted. Listen, Gazi, don't worry yourself, okay? I know how aggressive Mama can get sometimes. Right? Anything else? Yeah, thank you. Alright, you can go. Auntie, um, what do I prepare for breakfast? I don't know, I don't feel like eating. You just find something to eat, okay? Make sure Frank eats something. Okay. Did you say the man lives in this house? Yes. Call them for me. Angela, you shouldn't have talked to your uncle like that. Mama, you guys are pushing me against the wall. For goodness sake, Mama, I love Franklin. I mean, am I not making sense to you at all? Don't you understand? Mm, I, I, I understand. Anyway, your uncle wants to see you and the young man. And Angela, please, behave yourself this time. Young man, who are you? Sir, my name is... Franklin Chiwendo, sir. Franklin Chiwendo. Where are you from? I'm from Banu, the government area of Imo State. Good. Now, listen and listen carefully. Hmm? Whenever a man and a woman is seen together, living like two of you are doing now, hmm? especially when the woman is a little bit older than the man and is well to do. Eyebrows are raised. That is why Angela, mother, and I are here this morning. Yes, sir. So, if you know you are very serious with our daughter, <laughs> come to us instead of sneaking into our room and sleeping on our bed. Hmm? Have you heard what I said? Good. Yes, sir. Mm. Um, I have finished with you. You can go. 
Thank you, sir. Mm. Thank you, ma. Thank, thank you. Mm. Mama, thank you. Good. Emma, what is all this? I have just spoken the truth. Which truth? This is not what we discussed. No. If you can't beat them, you join them. That's the time that you come. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you, thank you for the gift. Don't mind, John. So beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mama, I know you must be hungry. Sit down, let me get you something to eat. I'm so hungry, Ida. <laughs> I really miss you. Oh, oh, I miss you people too. Spend time with me, you know. You put so much time and effort in your business that you don't even have time to rest at all. My daughter. What else do you expect me to spend my time and energy on? What else? Mm, a little time. All the money in Nkwa Akugo will not run away if you stay with us a few days. <laughs> I was actually leaving because you were not around. But now that you are around, I will stay. Oh. Wow! Let's go inside. Do I? No, don't worry. Don't worry. Malik, pack the car. Yeah? I have sugar. I just met my dog. I 
I should stretch it, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Honey. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should go to the village for the weekend? Absolutely not. Why? Because I am sick and tired of people asking me whenever we're together why you're not pregnant or if you're pregnant and stuff like that. I think that they should just mind their own business. Besides, why don't you use this weekend and go to the hospital to find out why you've not been seeing your period for some months now? Well, honey, you know that I make my supplies at the weekend now. And then what am I going to do? Now, that's what I'm talking about. You see, you're always talking about work. Work, work, work. What about your health? Hey, what about your health? You should go to the hospital and find out what's wrong with you. <gasps> Look, baby, we're not going to talk about this thing anymore. Because it's beginning to piss me off. Every weekend I keep telling you, go to the hospital, you say no. Go to the I am the man here, okay? I'm the husband. Go to the hospital and find out what's wrong with you. If you want me to go to the hospital with you, I will. But please do something about it. Please. I'm downstairs. But you don't need to walk out on me now. pregnancy test to confirm pregnancy. Furthermore, we check your hormonal profile to be sure you do not have any hormonal imbalances. All I will do is to take your blood sample to our, uh, to our fertility clinic here, where such investigations as FSH, LH, prolactin, progesterone will be carried out. So when can we come for the results? In two days, everything will be okay. It's just that um, <laughs> we've been really worried. Oh, there's nothing to be worried about. Okay. Everything will be perfectly okay. We'll be here, we'll be here today. Same okay. time. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. irritability, you are irritable, everything irritates you, you get angry. Yeah, I feel it, yes. Now, I've never woken up any time feeling, having this redness on the face, sometimes erythema on the body. Uh, yes, I saw it some time ago, yes. 
Now, um, have you been on pills, contraceptive pills? Yes, I was on pills a um, couple of months back. Now, I'm talking about, no, literally like before five months, did you ever, did you ever notice amenorrhea? Amenorrhea is a condition where menses doesn't come. Uh, um, yes, um, but then I talked to a couple of my friends and their advice, I go back on the pills and I didn't go back. And menses returned? Yes. Fine, how was the flow? Did you notice a very heavy flow, almost looking chocolate, not looking the real red flow? It didn't come like it should come. Y yes. Fine. Now, do you run a 28 day cycle? Yes. 28 day cycle. Yes. Fine. Do you usually know when you ovulate? Yes, I do. And you feel those tenderness on the breast, sharp pain around the ovaries, either on the left or right side? Yeah, it's sharp pains, but I haven't felt any tenderness mm -hmm. you know, for the past five months. Eh? Now, lately, have you noticed a hardness on the breasts? Yes. Do you usually have pains? On the onset of your menstruation? Yes. I feel all of that. Yes. Like, and, um, like, when was the last time you menstruated? Um, five months ago. Five months. Yeah. Fine. Now, I'd like to ask a few questions way back home to your mom, to your father. Did she experience any difficulty in childbirth? Um, well, um, she didn't tell me much though, but. Uh, I know, I remember her telling me she lost about two pregnancies before me. She's an only child, and I am an only child as well. And that's the much I know. Okay. We have investigation results here. The results before me here shows that the result for the pregnancy test is negative, and uh, that means you are not pregnant, but not to worry, um, other investigations we carried out for the hormonal profile shows here that um, the FSH, the LH, the prolactin, the estradiol and the progesterone, which I'll just explain shortly. Now you see, the FSH and the LH are produced in the pituitary gland of the brain. Every woman, when you run your circle, let's assume you run a 28 day circle like you do, from the first four days, four or five days, it's called the follicular phase. At that point, you begin to bleed. Now, by the time the bleeding is earned, then between your fifth and seventh day, depending on the circle you run, is your luteal phase. When you menstruate at the follicular phase, what happens is that in the last previous month that has just ended, the body is beginning to lose the egg that was not fertilized by the sperm. So you begin at, at the same time as you are bleeding out, you are going to prepare yourself for a next production of an egg. Now, follicles are produced. Follicles are like oranges that have seeds in them. Now, the, at the point of ovulation, there is an eruption of the follicles. The eggs are released. Now, when the follicle gets forming at the follicular phase, when it gets to the luteal, those ones that have not been formed will get burst to form a um, corpus lithium, which is a yellowish con con substance that will help in the production of pro prolactin just in case you get pregnant. And it will also help in secretion or preparation for the mammary glands for the breastfeeding of the baby. Now, let's see here. We have a FSH value that is higher than 10 and an LH that is higher than 8. It means that your production, the, the, the sensation, your CNS is given to the pituitary gland of the brain, it's too much. So there's an overproduction of the FSH and LH, which is going to give rise to a very poor response of prolactin. Fine. The prolactin result here we have is, is over, it's less than 17 nanogram per DL. At 17 nanogram per DL, for every good menstruating woman, should have something as much as 25 nanogram per DL. So what it means is that you're not secreting enough prolactin like you should. Now, the progesterone here too is less than 2. It only means that your walls of endometrium are getting too thick. And ideally, there should be a, thick, a time for thickness and a time for thinness. As you shed the walls of the endometrium when you menstruate, it should probably get thickened at the point of ovulation. So what it means here is that your ovaries are getting inactive and not able to produce an egg. And equally goes to show that even if 
per chance you get pregnant, because of the thickening of the walls of the endometrium, there won't be implantation. So it gets very impossible for you to have a baby. So, so what, what, what are you saying? Fine. Um, what I'm saying here in this is that the results we have here before us is tending towards menopause. Doctor, I'm just 37. I, I, I thought they said women get menopausal from 50. Yeah, yeah. No, madam. It varies. Now, you see, a lot of factors predisposes a woman to hitting menopause early or late. Now, let's see it from this light. You see, it's not, um, every girl does not come into puberty at the same age. Some come in very early and some come in very late. Now, the, 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 the short thing is that for early comers who enters, who comes into puberty early, there's a tendency that their cycle finishes over time and they hit menopause. Now, it equally depends still on the um, lifestyle of the lady. No, lifestyle. How was it like growing up? Ladies who had had several abortions, it gets to the time when their ovaries get inactive. So women are naturally not very fertile. They might just be left with maybe two eggs or three that are very matured that would be fertilized all their life. And if carelessly they have one, two, three abortions before marriage, or even while married, they might want to, oh, I don't want babies right now, so they go about it. So when, when they settle down finally to have these children, there are no more fertile eggs for them. Menopause sets in. Now, lifestyles like smoking and um, um, drunkenness could equally bring all about that. Like, it affects the male, male when they come into menopause, it equally affects the females. A lady that smokes plenty of nicotine and alcohol in the system could make the ovaries function less than it should function. And that way, it produces less um, fertile eggs that were matured, and menopause sets in in no time. But, 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 but my wife doesn't smoke or drink. And Fine. I never, I've never had an abortion. Fine. Fine. When none of this exists, it could just be hereditary. Which is what I strongly suspect here. Now, look at the history of your mom. An only child. And it's there. Oh God! I'm so sorry. 
And he knew what's going to come to say, Leo, God, 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 God. Give me something, my love. My love, I'm so sorry. I have you, baby. What it means here is that your ovaries are getting inactive and not able to produce an egg. And equally goes to show that even if per chance you get pregnant, because of the thickening of the walls of the endometrium, there won't be implantation. So it gets very impossible for you to have a baby. So, so, so what, what, what are you saying? Fine. Um, what I'm saying here in the, in the, is that the results we have here before us is tending towards menopause. What do my friends say? My family? Does it mean I'm going to be childless forever? I am so confused. Is the one thing you really can't get? What's hidden in the dark must come to light. After the rain comes sunlight. Oh. Mama? Frank, my dear. Angela has told me everything. And believe you me, I know how you feel. Mama, I don't know why this is happening to me. I just don't know why. You know, Frank, Angela has always been a career woman. And in that pursuit, 
she rejected so many suitors. And now that she has settled down with Mr. Wright, time is no longer on her side. Angela is all I need in a woman. All I ever wanted in a wife. We've been through so much together. In a marriage, it's expected that you have children, offspring. But if God wants mine to be like this, then, then so be it. I just pray God intervenes on time. Because, Mama, it's a very difficult situation. Hmm. I know, Frank. And Angela is so afraid of losing you. You're ready to go. Yes. Ah. Angela. Yes, ma'am. Your husband is a good man. Why do you say so? As a young man, there will come a time when he will need Because of this, I am suggesting that we, we, we look inwards now. I want you to try and talk to him. To look for someone else. Someone you can trust. Someone you know too well. Someone who will not bring any problem between the two of you. Are you suggesting that I share my husband with another woman? Would you rather your husband starts flirting around and that way you will lose him completely? And Angela, you don't have a choice. Stop crying, wipe your tears. You know I don't like you crying. Let us pray for a solution. And what I'm trying to suggest, I want you to hear me out. Just listen. I have been thinking and I am um, thinking of uh, your girl, Ngozi. This is a girl you have nurtured from childhood. You have brought her up well to become a beautiful woman. You've given her food and shelter. Her ways, you know, her character, you can vouch for. Why don't you try and talk your husband into agreeing with this suggestion? It's the closest to the, to, to the alternative. Mama, you asking me to condescend low to, to, to sharing my husband with my house help? All right, even if I were to buy your idea, your suggestion, have you forgotten that because he has a fiance and they are planning on getting married? Oh, Mama, I don't believe it. This whole idea is just incredible. I don't Angela, believe it. Angela, your predicament 
is never the dream of any woman. But you have to accept your fate. I have been thinking we talk to your girl, Ngozi. I think this is a good solution. Tell your husband first. Let us know his own opinion. Let us know if he's going to agree or not. Then, the rest we can handle. Well, I have to be going now. I'll be back within the next one week. And uh, my regards to your husband when he comes. And don't forget what I told you.
love you. Listen to me, Frank. I will not. Listen to me, whether you like it or not. We need a woman to bear your child, and I cannot do that. Amy. I will not look at any other woman. Whether you like it I or not. I will not. Listen, Frank. See, whether you like it or not, you will need a child sometime in the future. You hear me? You hear me? Do not go to bed. Listen, Frank. You just have to, to listen to me, okay? Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Angela, please just go to bed. Please, I want you to think about it. Angela, go to bed. Go to bed. God, why me? Please talk to me. Am I not mature enough to know what is happening in this house? Angela, I think she's right, you know. You just got to tell her. Brooding and, and keeping quiet over this is not going to solve the problem. You tell her. Auntie. Auntie, talk to me. You've been crying for some days now. Please talk to me. My life is crumbling. My whole world has come to an end. I've lost the dream and pride of every woman. How is that little you mean? You are not a widow, are you? Because you won't understand. That is if you fail to make me understand. You are my mother, my sister, my friend. Please talk to me. I might be of help. No, Gose. Don't worry yourself, okay? I'll be fine. Auntie, please talk to me. I'll be fine. Auntie. I'll be fine. Auntie, please talk to me. Auntie, please talk to me. All right. My gynecologist made me understand recently that contrary to the belief that a woman gets to menopause at 50 or thereabout, a lady can also get to menopause at 27, depending on a lot of factors, like early puberty, rough lifestyle of smoking, and excessive drinking. Abortions, hereditary, and so on. So, I found out. I found out that at just 37 years of age, I have reached menopause. Jesus Christ. Children. I can't bear children anymore, Gussie. I wanted to give my husband at least one boy and a girl, and maybe one boy. <laughs>
Rose. I need your help. I need your help. Don't you just say it. Say it, anything. I will do anything to make you happy. I want you to marry my husband. I want you to bear children for me. I want you to marry you for my husband. I want you to marry my husband. Listen, God, we will we'll still live together just like we've always been. Nothing is gonna change. Stop it! Just, please! Just stop! What are you saying? Please. You know, Raymond and I are set for our traditional wedding. And he has always been there for me all these years. You want me to abandon a relationship that I've nurtured all these years, Auntie? A relationship that you watched grow? No, I can't. We have to think about another solution. It won't work. Please. How can you imagine that I will marry your husband? I can't. It's impossible. Because he... We know it's a tough situation. And that is why it has been difficult for us to tell you. But you know with God, everything is possible. I want you to see this as a sacrifice for your sister's happiness. Please. Mama, please. I can't believe that you are saying all this. What you people are asking me to do is totally impossible. I can't do it. I'm 